Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time, we traveled around Heliopolis and Red Obelisks, for we received the finished Rosetta Stone, or the pocket Rosetta Stone, as I like to call it, because it's not big enough to be the Rosetta Stone, and I'm picky. <laughs> I'm picky on my video game logic details. Uh, or it's not really video game logic. It's just like, it's kind of good that it, they made it smaller because then we wouldn't be able to carry it with us. That would kind of stink if we had to come, if we had to like copy down everything from the obelisks and return to the, the giant Rosetta Stone every time. But yeah, it's still, it's not the Rosetta Stone to me because I've seen the real one and the real one's amazing. It's really, really cool. But it's still a cool little pocket Rosetta Stone helps you translate ancient text, which it did, and we got a cryptic message about us being the chosen one. So, uh, we must be chosen to do something important. You have done it! You have translated the five golden obelisks of Heliopolis! This message is incredible! The ancients foresaw that the darkness would descend upon us, and inscribed the ancient prophecy of Ra on the obelisks. When the age of Osiris comes to an end, the shadow of Set will descend upon us. But a great warrior by the name of Sphinx will emerge the Chosen One to defend the eternal Eye of Ra. It is you! You are the Chosen One! I don't know what to say! I want you to take this to help you on your quest. It is a magical statue which is said to unlock the great obelisk on the cliffs above South Beach. You must succeed in your quest. The fate of all lies in your hands. Good luck, great warrior. You got the Hathor statue. This golden effigy is said to have magical powers. Well, cool. We need to go unlock a giant, um, like, apparently a great obelisk. It's probably larger than the other one, since it's got the word great in it. I don't know, but uh, it's on the cliffs of South Beach. I'm pretty sure we are on the cliffs of South Beach, but I do not know where this one is. Um, actually, it might be on somewhere cliff-like. I'm not sure if I'm going to find a sign, though, that says, Oh, over here, giant obelisk, go check it out. Um, no, I don't think it's going to be that easy. We might just have to look around. However, I do think it might have something to do with this strange back pathway. Uh, okay, caves, what does this lead to? To Heliopolis Point and Great Wall Entrance 3. Ooh, it's enticing, but we are supposed to be finding a giant obelisk, but it's good to know where that is, because we'll have to go there soon. We will have to go that direction. Um, we are on South Beach, correct? I'm pretty sure we are, because that's where the Bedouin outpost is, right? Oh man, I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. I'm pretty sure I just saw a really big ob obelisk as well. Yep, looky here. Wait, it's locked, but I'm sorry. Excuse me? There's a recess for an item of some- What? What do you mean? Dang it. Okay, so apparently I need some magical doodah to get in there and save the day. Um, I don't know where this magical doodah is. But, um, that's- The Great Obelisk is prob- I, Yeah, I just saw something glitching in and out there. That's probably the Great Obelisk right there. So, uh... That's not good that we don't have a key. I don't know where to get one. I suppose it's time to go to Great Wall Entrance 3 then, if we can't get a key from there. So, it's good that we actually found that pathway, because that's something we could do until we find a key. Okay, get me an Otten. Aye, let's get some Otten power going on so I can, I can run. Yeah, look at my speed! My speedy feats. Ooh, what's down here? A boulder. I need a slim burble. I have no idea where that will lead, but it looks interesting. Actually, I need two, don't I? Because I think I saw one at another entrance as well. What's with all these giant boulders? My gosh, who keeps laying them around everywhere? That. Oh, wait, that is the giant boulder. Oh, silly me. That means... Oh, great. That means that I don't know where the key is. Okay. Well, I suppose I need to get a slim burble. Ow, my knees. Maybe I could buy a key from this guy. Hey, you got a key? Oh, wait, this isn't the weird shop with the guy who 
his purple and sells things with Onyx Scarab. Sorry, man, I keep blanking out. Okay, so what do you got here? Uh, lots of Otten Eyes. I don't necessarily want any. I don't know how many Onyx Scarabs I have. I want some of these. Yes, please. Sorry, you don't have enough money to buy this. Of course I don't. Okay. So, uh, can I have some Otten Eyes? Oh, I can. Wonderful. It fit in the eye of some statue. I want to clear out this, sh this like, the shop as soon as I can. Because if we do, then we just won't have to worry about this. Okay, so we got those Otten Eyes. So next we need to focus on just, like, acquiring enough Onyx Scarabs to actually, like, buy the stuff. Like, buy his, uh... My goodness. <laughs> buy the buy the Onk pieces. That's it. And let's put these in here. Okay, so we need to find a way to get to Great Obelisk Thing. I don't know how to do that. Uh... Let's go get a Slim Burble. I think that might help us out. Man, I love these Otten statues. They make me feel so cool. Um, and I think we're going to have to go over there sometime soon, but I'm pretty sure we can't do anything there yet. That requires an item later on. Actually, I think that's Great Wall Entrance 3 back there that we passed. And I'm almost fairly certain that you cannot get in there until we get an item from later on in the game. I happen to remember that, that point in the game. Um, we might get the item from a mummy quest, but I'm not entirely sure. Have these, have these guys digged everything up? Digged? Digged? That's not correct speak. Hello, sir. Sorry for chopping you. Welcome back, my friend. You'll be glad to know that we found this while we were digging. Please take it as a token of our appreciation. Yay, gold on piece. I was right. Cool. Okay, so if I knew where the second, like the next plot was, I would tell them to go dig there. But I don't know, and they take a while to dig for them. So like later on, I'll um, like off screen, I'll go find out like which plot it is, and then we'll just tell them to dig that up. Like maybe like the episode that I choose to to tell them to dig it up, <laughs> because I don't know right now, and I don't want to pick pick like one that isn't it. I'm I'm like I know what number it's around but I don't necessarily know which one exactly. I don't want to mess up because they take a while to, to like open those up. Now anyway, where do I get Slim Burble? Yeah, like over there I think. I think there's a nest over here. Um, yes, I would like a Slim Burble soon <laughs> because they're very helpful in our journey as they blow things up that we need exploded. Exploded? I'm not even sure if that's proper verb talk, speak, and either way, I don't, I don't know, talking, speaking, don't know how to use my voice, ugh, sorry, I have so much problem with languages, like, speaking, speaking is not a language, speaking is a verb, <laughs> I'm sorry, Adonai, get in there, it's cool that, it's, it's like good that we just fill these out as we find them now, since we have so many, because these will prove to be helpful forms of transportation, so we can get around a lot faster. Health! Now, give me a burble. Hey there, buddy. I'm gonna go take you on an adventure. We're gonna blow some stuff up, my friend. Um, that leads to the temple, doesn't it? I'm fairly certain. Wait, does it? Where does this lead to? This leads to South Beach. I'm so confused, guys. I don't know where I'm going. Bedouin Outpost, yes. Strong swimmers only. Don't worry, I can swim. Now, let's get going. Mm, my lips are getting chapped. Mm, winter, why? Well, I love you so, and still you chap my lips, and you're really cold. Actually, I like the cold. Winter is might be my second favorite season. I like winter for its chilliness. And how does that take strong swim? Oh, because you wouldn't be able to make it through with the uh, without the fat, without like the crocodile scales as well, probably. Anyway, like I like winter because the the, the chill, the, it's like a dry cold, which is I feel is better than a wet cold. And I like the snow and like just the way it feels in the holidays. It's very nice. But but like my very favorite, my very favorite um season is spring. Just because I really like the plant life, I really like the flowers, and I really, really like that the temperature isn't freezing and the temperature isn't blistering hot. <laughs> it's like the, the 
one of the perfect times of year. I like fall as well. Fall's really pretty, but fall's a little bit colder than spring is, and doesn't have like as much as much of the greenery as I like. However, like autumn leaves, really cool. What is this? Secrets. Actually, I've been. I think I saw this chest earlier in the Let's Play, and I didn't know how to get to it. I might be right on that or not. And okay, that's not what I was looking for, but it's still pretty cool. This is unnerving. <laughs> I have no idea where to go. Like, is there a hint? <laughs> Can I get a hint? I don't necessarily want to get a hint. That would not be... I don't think I want to do that. But, um... Hmm... I'm confused. Um... Uh, okay, so this episode might be a lot of stupid nothing. Off screen, though, I'll find out where to go. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> because I... Where do I get this key, man? Where do I get this key? Hey there, mister... Over here? Hi there. Must succeed in your quest. Fate lies in your hands. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not helping you at all. Um, you're... I don't have enough money for you, do I? Hmm. Actually, you know what I'll do before, like, we end the episode off? I'm gonna go to Abdos, because I think there's a guy who said that he would, um... Give us something. I think there was someone there who said that he would give us a portal key if we cleared the waters of eels, which I'm pretty sure we did. Um, so yeah, I think I'll go talk to him about that, and then off screen I'll go and look up where where we can get the the key or what we have to do next, because I'm a little confused. I don't want to, like, just get stuck in the path of side quests. Even though I have to do the side quests. But I, st I don't want to get, like... Oh, wait, he's down here. But yeah, I don't want to get, like, trapped in the everlasting... Ever-spinning loop of side quests. There's still some critters left. What do you mean? I cleared your freaking canal. What do you want? Okay, let's see. Are you talking about these respawning dudes? I can Look, he's, he's dead. Goodbye. Um, but there is still this guy over here. Hey there! You can go away. I want my portal amulet. Come on. I want a portal amulet. I don't even know where it goes. Good job, piranha. You're dead. Goodbye. Okay, so will you give it to me now, sir? I did everything you wanted. I told you everything. I've done things for you. I've... What do you mean there are still critters left? I went and killed your piranhas. I got rid of your eels. There are... That water is eelless. I see no eels. I'm sorry. You are sadly mistaken on the whereabouts of critters. As I do not see any... So oh, never mind. I lied. Um, okay, so go away. Now can I have my portal amulet? Yes. That would be a lovely answer for me to hear with my ears. Okay, so, uh, portal amulet time, right? I think we deserve one. We've been a hard worker killing off your critters. We saved your mayor from, like, illness and then evil creepy dudes. There are still some critters left. Ugh! Don't like you. Mean. First you wouldn't let me through that door, and now you won't give me my portal amulet. Oh, he keeps enticing me with it, too. He's like, I've got it, but you can't have it. Okay, I heard it. Where is it? I heard you. There you are. Are you the last one? Do I just have to get rid of you? Bye. You're dead, right? There we go. You're gone. Okay, cool. Now, I I wonder, does he mean the butterflies too? I I probably have to kill every living being in this canal. So, uh, let me let me go after the butterflies. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. There are still critters left. I talk a lot. I don't know my concepts. Bleh. Angers me. Maybe I do. I wonder if you even get anything from him or if this is like an elaborate hoax. Okay, I cleared the water of eels. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. You know what? Um, I'm going to go look up how to get. Um, where to go next, because I'm confused. I'm also... 
Okay, I'm gonna give like one last shot at killing all these critters before we leave. I think I got all the guys here. Okay, it's good that they stay dead. That's nice. But then, nope, sorry. Not gonna trick me this time. Now, gotta get rid of you. You're dead. That's the last of the creatures infesting the narrow canal. Okay, I get a reward now. Okay, thank you for telling me. That was cool. What about the guy with the goofy lizard? That's a creature too, right? Well, it's kind of domesticated. Hmm, I still have to go after that goofy lizard, don't I? I have to do that last minigame here. I'll do that sometime. <laughs> I know I'm putting it back, but I really don't like that minigame. But we'll do it. Portal amulet. Heliopolis amulet. Sand etched symbols in this artifact indicate transport to Heliopolis. Let's see where it goes before this episode ends, because we're going back to Heliopolis anyway. Ooh! I just remembered something. Okay, we're gonna go give the majority of our scarabs to the beggar. Hey there, man! Can you spare a few coins? Yeah, here's ten scarabs. Gee, thanks. Money. Yeah, okay, here's more scarabs. Wow, you are a regular Samaritan. You've been so generous, let me give you something in return. Found this thing the other day in one of the sewers. Don't ask me what I was doing down there. But you don't want to know. Anyway, it's all I have, and I want you to take it. You got a gold onk piece. Oh, and wow, when we get 200 onks, we can get another... Get another onk. So cool. More side quest completion. That was cool. Anyway, um, it's time to end the episode off, so let's make it down to the sewers. I'm not, sadly, I'm not going to go dive down the, the, uh, the, dive down into the water. Well, dive down into the water, dive down the well, that's what I meant. Okay, let's see how this Heliopolis amulet works. Let's see where it takes us before we, before we end this episode. But first, let's go through an invigorating loading screen. Look at all those reds and golds. Just savor them in your face. There we go. Now, I... What's the point of this room down here? Like, this this chamber here. Is it like... I guess it's for the well. I guess that's it. Okay, Heliopolis amulet. Let's go. Thank you, creepy. What? I totally got ripped off. I've been here already. I guess that's kind of helpful. <laughs> We're just back in Imatap's place. I could have gotten, like, free pass to here any day. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe Imotep can help me. What do I do? Uh, no, you're not going to tell me anything. Okay, so that confirms that the episode is, in fact, going to end, like, right now. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Ow, my headset. Um, hit myself the ear <laughs> on accident. Bye, guys.